Tom Noddy blows bubbles. Bubbles trail away from him wherever he goes in whatever breeze that blows. He is a wandering minstrel and bubbles are his song. As bubbles floated for an instant around us before vanishing forever, he invited me inside out of the wind into San Francisco's delightful science museum, the Exploratorium, to show me what he can do with soap and air. Well, um, I do bubbles inside of bubbles, smoke bubbles, clear bubbles, clear bubbles inside of smoke bubbles, smoke bubbles inside of clear bubbles, inside out bubbles, yin yang bubbles, caterpillar bubbles, love bubbles in a bubble cube. With such airy fantasies, Tom Noddy has lifted bubble blowing far above any playground pursuit. He calls this the carousel bubble. Watch. When he blows bubbles for kids, Tom Noddy always tells them not to smoke. Unfortunately, he has to smoke, else he couldn't blow smoke bubbles. A clear bubble with a bubble full of smoke inside it. And I'll show you the Mount St. Helens bubble. I was hitchhiking on uh, Highway 5 and a couple of years ago, and <clears throat> I watched Mount St. Helens erupting. Oops. Sort of looked like this. It started with an earthquake, right? And the whole mountain was trembling. Then there was an eruption. <laughs> There's ashes all over Oregon, Washington, and Idaho. Tom Noddy has wandered right around the world blowing bubbles, contemplating bubbles by day, dreaming about bubbles by night and communing, of course, with other bubble blowers, one of whom taught him how to blow little bubbles right into big bubbles. He has learned how to build geometric bubbles within bubbles within bubbles, triangle bubbles, cube bubbles, dodecahedron bubbles, even. <laughs> dodecahedron. A dodecahedron, huh? Right. It's jewel-like. Uh -huh. It's beautiful. Isn't it a pity it can't last? Oh, that's the best part. That's what makes them precious, right? Oops. What is it that's so appealing about them, exactly? Well, uh, they're, they're certainly beautiful. The colors on them are intense, the shine on them. But uh, liquid spheres, there's something, something about this, this apparent solid, which, which spheres are. They remind us of apples and balls. But in fact, they, they, they're liquids. They move like a liquid. They're infinitely flexible. They can do things that a solid just couldn't do. Right? I think that's a large part of the appeal and their transient nature. And uh, everybody seems to like it. I've never done a bad bubble show. I've never blown an ugly bubble. <laughs> it's hard to do. This he calls Galactica, a universe of bubbles within a bubble. Can you make a living blowing bubbles? If you call this living. <laughs> I've supported myself as a hippie. I mean, I had no money. I lived in my van. I had no address that I had, you know, and I just traveled around living cheap, living minimally, like the bubbles, you know, minimal surface structures, economy of form. Um, allowed me to make my living off of bubbles for nearly 12 years now. Tom Noddy feels that he has only begun to probe the outer limits of the bubble universe. He's creating bubbles ever more oh. intricate, ever more enchanting.
Tom Noddy has chosen to live the life of a wandering troubadour, here today, gone tomorrow. His bubbles are transient, like him. Of course, all bubbles burst. But in the philosophy of Tom Noddy, once it has quivered in the air for even an instant, a thing of beauty is a joy forever. <laughs>